the, the part of the, the photographs is uh, I started uh, exploring mostly portraiture and then I wanted to shift to something um, I was just thinking of idea of political engagement and utopia and I was spending a summer in both Berlin and Marseille and I was just coming up on these um, utopian buildings and this great like modernist idea of making that was mixing utopian ideal the way we live and then a very um, strong aesthetic vision and then it made me long for that kind of um, optimism and so I did that's when I started this series of photograph that was mixing two things that was making from Berlin I took the the nudist turn of the century body free body culture and then from Marseille I took the modernist architecture and there's very simple geometric shape and primary colors and that's what I did in the in a dark room and mixed the two and uh, through double exposures and layers and uh, but there's no faces in the portraiture because I feel like there's no real utopia now it's like it's faceless and even now, like since a year ago, that we have a lot more movement now of politics involvement, but it seems still there's no head to it. It's so it's still relevant that those photographs are those bodies that are resting, and then those very structured color blocks on top. And then the idea of layers took me to silk screen printing, which I never had done before. So I'm going to have part of that is going to be the one wall is going to be photographs, and the opposite wall is going to be the silk screen where it's another idea of layering. I'm trying to find also a new theme, new process. It also makes it more interesting for me. And they're both very minimal in their approach. But the way I layered both the color and the bodies, it was completely instinctual. It was like I didn't have a set. I had a set, simple lines, square, triangle, circle, and then a set of four, uh, three colors and black. So that was the, but then the way they were gonna be layered was completely instinctual. I was, the color shapes came responding to the bodies. There's an overflow of images in the world, so I'm trying to, part of, I think, reducing my work in, in both the, I, edit, I over edit sometimes, but I feel like it's part of you want to present something that's very edited and then people can can take it in and then and have a better like the idea it becomes clearer i think i don't want to have an overflow of image because there's already so much of them coming from all sides yeah i guess that's why i moved to printmaking because i felt like photograph of so easily transmittable I was I like the idea of having an actual materiality to and like the the prints that I'm showing that I that I before showed just pin to the wall just having the the photo paper unmounted and just keeps the like the material visible and almost touchable it, to me is important because that's the up like the images exist and float around so I'd like the photo to s keep remaining an object something tactile almost that's kind of what I love about it. And I think the way I work actually in, in art is, yeah, I guess the experimentation part and just uh, how I always like to have a very short time, concentrated work and then push it out and finish it. I have a very uh, project oriented practice. So I think it's kind of like a play where you have these two months and you just have to make, and then that's it, then you present it. It's never finished. That's what I like about it.